By the end of this video, you'll be able to remove echo from your audio recordings using Audacity. Let's get started. So I have a project that I'm working on in Audacity. And for this video, I'm going to use an example of a voice recording that has a bit of background noise as well as a little bit of room echo. These are the two main issues I'm going to address in this video. So if you have a recording that was made in a room that has a lot of hard surfaces, so maybe has a bit of echo, or if you have a recording that has a background noise, maybe like a computer monitor humming, or maybe something like a hissing sound. Lastly, I will show you how to remove a one-time sound that may have happened in your recording, something like a dog barking or a door opening or closing. So let's take a listen to this sound recording as it is right now. And I recommend using headphones for this, uh, with this recording and for the recordings that you are working with so you can hear the differences when we change things. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit play. Hopefully this helps you remove background noise. Perfect. So you can hear that there is a bit of a background noise or a humming sound in this recording. And then there is some room echo as well. This one's not one of the worst examples I have, but at least you can hear how what we're gonna do in this example is gonna help you with your recordings. So the first thing I need to do is communicate to Audacity which sound I want to remove from this recording. So you can hear at the beginning that we have that background noise or ambient background noise. Make sure you have the selection tool selected and then you can make your selection. So I'm gonna select this part and there's two steps to this. First, you're gonna go up to effect and then you're going to want to go down to noise removal and repair, and then noise reduction. Depending on what version of Audacity you're, you're using, you might just wanna look for the word noise reduction. It's the same tool. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on noise reduction. Now this is gonna bring up the noise reduction plugin. Now you can play with the first setting. That's the one that's gonna have the most impact on your recording. So when you do this, what we're doing is we're isolating that part first. You can change this setting if you like. The larger it goes, the more it sounds like your voice is underwater. So I'm gonna go somewhere maybe around 15, and then I'm gonna press OK. Now, nothing has happened to the file yet. What I need to do is now select the entire file. You can either click here in the gray, or you can click up here in the top where the hand shows and click that for your clip. And then I'm gonna go up to effect again, and then now you'll see there is an option for repeat noise reduction. Now this is going to apply to the entire clip. And so what it did is it, isolated this part and it made it less. So now let's go ahead and take a listen. Hopefully this helps you remove background noise. Perfect, so you can see that that background noise has been removed completely from this recording. Now if it did not work correctly, you're gonna to wanna to undo that because every time you add an effect, you're adding more layers that uh, would make things maybe have clicking sounds or you're gonna have more kind of pops in your audio. So you want to make sure that you undo and then retry now you could do that again. Let's say maybe it was a really loud, uh, it was a louder sound than what I have. You could try that again. I don't recommend using that technique with what's called a high peak. So see this part right here that has a high peak in the audio. I would not recommend using the tool we just did for high peaks. It most only works with the lower ambient sounds like we just did. Okay, so already this audio is sounding better. Even a, li a little bit of the echo has been removed. So now the next thing I want to do is I wanna select the entire clip again. I'm gonna go up to effect, and the next thing I wanna do is go to noise removal and repair, and this time I'm gonna to go to noise gate. Again, if you're using an older version of Audacity, you want to just look for the words noise gate, and then click there. And so this is gonna have a preset, and for right now, this gate threshold looks pretty good, and so the more you change this, the more it changes the sound. So I'm gonna go ahead and just preview what I have right now. Hopefully this helps you remove background noise, Already that is sounding a lot better. And then you can play with this some more. This is one where you can go ahead and put the slider to the right or to the left and see how that changes your sound. You might need to do more. Hopefully this helps you remove back. So you notice there we're starting to get some cuts in the sound, so that's a little too much. So that's the kind of thing I was talking about earlier where you don't want to do too too much to the file or else you're gonna start getting the it's gonna Hopefully the this helps you remove background noise. Perfect. You could do the level reduction here as well. Hopefully this helps you remove background noise. I think I liked it better the way it was before. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit apply. And so now this file is sounding much better. I've removed the echo and I've removed the ambient noise. Lastly, what I'd like to do is go up to effect. And then this time I'm going to go to volume and compression and I'm gonna go ahead and click on normal normalize. And this is going to make this file so that there's no clipping in the uh, listening of it. Hopefully this helps you remove background noise. Beautiful. So I went ahead and brought the original file back into this project. So you can listen to the first recording. 
hopefully this helps you remove and now you can hear the difference that with all the uh, effects that we added to it here hopefully this helps you remove background noise and so you can see it is much clearer crisper audio once you've gotten your sound to this level you can tweak it even more by going up to effects and then doing eq and filters um, you, you might want to do that before you do the normalizing though, so that that way it normalizes the last step that you take. And the last thing I wanted to show you is how to remove one-time sounds. So down here in the original file, there was a mouse click that happened right around here. Highlight that mouse click, and then I would go up to silence audio, which is right here. And that took that one spot out. And this is going to work more when there's not anything else going on in that moment. So again, if it happened in the middle, it might be a little difficult to isolate. But in this recording, I was able to isolate that one spot. If you've made it this far into the video, you most likely want to get the most out of using Audacity. I have a full beginner's guide to getting started with Audacity, and I'll put a link to that video here.